Ladies and gentlemen, here on the Shakaris Plateau as the Green Terran in the center left hand, we have GG Orc. And down here in the bottom left hand corner as the Orange Protoss, we have Geek Big Ollie. Yeah. And the first matchup of this was really good to watch, so. Yep, a lot no. of options. Uh, Geek Big Ollie going for that double immortal drop to start off with, which was very interesting. Not seen that much play for a while, so it looks like he's been watching maybe a bit of White Raw special tactics. Maybe. As maybe. it goes down. Um, obviously, close air on positions, so uh, drop play is very acceptable on this map, especially going around the back end on those high cliffs and that big open area there on the side. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. The one bad thing about this map, or I wouldn't say it's bad, it's it's just a feature that can be used to take advantage of, is the fact that the bases themselves are so big. There's just so many little outcrops, like, as you said, the one that sticks out in the close-by-air position. It's such a small distance in between. Like, I can have both sides on one screen, and yet there's still a huge amount of distance between that and the main base. So you can drop here relatively undetected. Yep, so it looks like we've got GG Org actually going to wall himself off here um, and make sure there's going to be no scouting going to get in by Geek Big Ollie. So it'll be interesting to see if he's going to go some, for some sneaky play of uh, Cloak Banshees or something like that with the close air okay. position, or is he just going to go for a one racks expand, which is also quite common on this map because uh, the natural expansion is also a quite small choke to defend as well, so it's pretty easy to defend. Uh, single assimilator down for Big Ollie, so probably just going to try only two probes on it. So wait, is it two probes? No, it's three. Probes? Sorry, it's three probes. I'm mistaken there. So he is probably going to just gather enough gas to get that warp gate out and possibly a stalker, stalker as well. Yep, it looks yes. like he has skipped the zealot as well. So that warp gate, well, the cybernetics closed that a little bit earlier. So as soon as that finishes, it will go straight into a stalker production on that gateway. As obviously and second gas down as well. Yep, second gas. So no four gate going to come out of here from uh, Geek Big Ollie. No cheesy shenanigans of any sort. <laughs> so yep, because obviously that cybernetics core, you need that built and to actually produce the stalkers as well. So yep, he has got it built and he's gone straight into warp gate. He does have enough for a chrono, but yep. he's using it to chrono out uh, probes. probes again. Yep. And we see four rats coming out from GG Orc as well. Here. Oh. He's hiding it in the back area, so he's doing some cheesy here. So we're going to go for five racks, maybe an all-in as well. Uh, nothing out at the minute to help Big Geek, uh, Geek Big Ollie to defend this. No sentries to force field off that ramp or anything of the sort, so he does need to get a sentry out. ASAP. He's building a robo as well, so it's going to be a while before he gets enough units out to defend something like this. Yeah, definitely. We do have a sentry on the way now as for uh, Geek Big Ollie. We do see him doing the same play as last time, so he has gone for that robo bay. Uh, secondly, this stalker is going to push up, but he won't be able to see anything, and GG Orc has floated those three racks down onto the lower ground as well. Oh, four racks onto the lower ground. So he doesn't Very have... Very sneaky here. Yep, he's going to go mass marine and just push out everything. And GG, uh, Big Ollie is going to have no idea whatsoever of this. All he can really see at the moment is a wall off and these marines here. So he hasn't got any idea at all. No, definitely. So it looks like he's saving up a bit of money as well. Here is going 300. Ooh, is he going to look for the expansion? I'm not too sure... He Oops. is starting a observer, which may help him if he can scout these four barracks, but these barracks are already all producing marines. Yep, the observer is only halfway done as well at the minute. All the marines gather in the middle for a little bit of a party, and the SCB and train the SCBs. are on the pull as well, so this is going to be an all-in by GG Orc. We'll keep big only, a two store, only a stalker and three sentries here, so... <laughs> I'm not sure he's going to be able to defend this. Yep, I mean, these force fields are going to be very good on this ramp. Cut this army into two or just block them from coming down whatsoever. Here it As comes. goes, he's let everything in. No so reactions there. Off a s There's no way he's going to be able to defend this. And a no. G from Big Ollie. There's a G from Big Ollie. So, uh, GG Orc does take this series 2 0 and goes through to the semi finals, I believe. Yes, semi finals.